Hey guys, welcome to the old Ultra Runner channel. I'm your host Jay Tynert, and today I want to talk about my training week ending August 15th, 2021. This has been an extremely light week. Uh, it's been pretty much recovery. As the last weekend, I did the uh, Texas Endurance Runs 48 hour timed race. Uh, I finished on Sunday morning, ended up stopping when I got to 100 miles. But I'm pretty happy with doing 100 miles, especially in the Texas heat <laughs> this time of year in August. Anyway, uh, I finished about 9 a.m. on Sunday. I waited, my wife and son came and picked me up. I stayed a little bit later. Got a massage after the race. So by the time I got home, it was close to noon on Sunday. I got showered and cleaned up was probably laying down by 1 or 1.30. I did sleep most of the rest of the day on Sunday. I uh, think I got up a couple hours Sunday evening and then I went to bed and I still slept all Sunday night into Monday morning. Uh, normal for me is probably six and a half to seven hours of sleep. But all this week, I would say I was probably eight and eight to eight and a half hours of sleep. And I also had the flexibility in my schedule that I was saying, in addition to doing eight and a half, eight and a half, eight to eight and a half hours of sleep each night, I most days took a nap for an hour to an hour and a half. I was still very tired most of the week. I've been pushing a lot of fluids to make sure I stay hydrated. Today it's Sunday the 15th. It's been a week. I'm running for the very first time. Uh, I'm just going to do a little over a three mile run. This week I also got out for purposeful training and recovery walks. I walked about 12.7 miles. So all told my recovery week mileage of count walking and running will be between 15 and 16 miles, which I'm fine with. The thing to do is to listen to your body. And that's what my body wanted to do is a lot of rest after that 100 mile effort in the heat. Early in the week, I was even pretty limited running wise because my feet had so much damage during the run. I had lots of blisters. The, uh, my right toe, at first the blisters, as they were healing, the skin was so dry and stuff, it was hard to bend my toe. That has recovered really well. I wouldn't say... that it's 100% yet. But I would say the right toe is really not bothering me much anymore. Uh, I had another small blister too, but those healed up no problem. The only thing otherwise that I had was a large, probably half dollar size blister on the side of my left heel. Uh, that has, after the first day or two, that really hasn't bothered me having on my shoes or walking in it. So I just left it intact. I did not pop the blister or drain it. I would have done that if I was really running much 
and it was affecting my running stride. That blister is still intact. It still has a little bit of fluid, but it's almost dried out. So I think that one will be, it's not bothering me at all running. And I think that one will heal up well, naturally over the next week or two. Anyway, so very light week of running. Uh, probably because I walked so much of the 100 miles, my legs have never really felt bad. I probably felt like I was, as far as my legs go, I probably felt like I could run as of Tuesday or Wednesday. But again, this is Sunday and it's the first time I'm trying to run. I'm feeling fine. Uh, still going a bit slow. Still feeling a little tired. Probably doesn't help that I waited until five o'clock in the afternoon. So I am in the heat of the day. Uh, the weather is a little cooler for North Texas right now. I think we're getting, a, we're up upper mid, upper 80s Fahrenheit, maybe close to 90. But that's cooler than it was last weekend. And it's cooler than the normal, which is probably 95 to 97 for this time of year. So I'm not complaining and I'm feeling pretty good. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for my week of training. I hope uh, this next week I will increase the running a bit. I probably won't go back to my total of 50 of walking and running quite yet, but I will start ramping back toward that. Uh, I've got trail half marathon in on April, I mean on September 4th. So just under three weeks from today. Uh, so I'd like to ramp up and get some training in, but I don't really, I'm not gonna be too concerned about it. More important to recover from the 100 mile effort in the heat. Anyway, I hope you had a good week of training. Uh, if you're enjoying my updates, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Uh, I was kind of lax getting out contact, content this week other than my race report. I hope to do better this next week. This week I was just a little tired, so I didn't do much else other than get out my race report. Anyway. Mm -hmm.